Judy Pendleton. I'm back outside because I just wanted to catch everybody up on what we've been doing. So this is today's vlog. Um, we got that new RV and we ended up, it had some mold in it, so we ended up having to completely gut the entire thing. So we pulled all the cabinets out, or the uh, carpets, uh, we refinished the cabinets, we put on knobs, um, it took down a solid hickory floor. Um, we refinished all the cabinets to a honey maple finish. Really pretty. I mean, you don't have cabinet shops most of your life and finish furniture most of your life and just let it be. So, refinished all of that. Um, painted the knobs a jet black. Anyway, I'll slip in a video here. Okay, John and I are about to take the beast out and we're going to do some shopping. All right. So I'm going to move these pillows out of the way so we can sit in the front seats. You can see here how we retrofitted this chair to fit there. Got the diamond plating done here. And there's the sofa and the new hickory flooring. I'm not taking off. Um, the cabinetry finished, the knobs finished. Okay, and the hickory flooring comes all the way back into the back section. We have a new queen size mattress. All the cabinets here are refurbished as well and I made new lampshades to match. And I still have to hang the curtains back here. Here is the master closet. I tiled all that, put in new uh, shower works. All right, we're back. So what did you think? We really worked hard on that. So um, so this is just to catch up on what we've been doing. My daughter's getting married in six days. Six days! And we just have so many things going on. And uh, I can tell you this year, I did not plant a garden. Can you believe it? I didn't plant a garden this year. Um, there was just no time. Um, my daughter lives in Texas and to plan the wedding, um, we've been up here doing that all by ourselves. So she's gonna be here in, well, I think tomorrow night. So not even quite two days, she's gonna be here. And I haven't seen her since the first of April, the first, the beginning of April. And we've been battling severe storms. The other day we found someone's trampoline in our side yard. Uh, we got new families moving in. So we're getting to meet new people. It's been pretty exciting. Uh, of course, we're getting ready to take off in the RV, uh, so this is going to be exciting. I want to thank my new sponsor, uh, YKS, and Wendy at YKS. Um, we apologize. We had the motor went out on our steps of our motor home the day we were supposed to leave. My husband says, I mean, I got all packed, and my husband said, guess what? We're not going anywhere. I was like, why? And he's like, go call the repair man because we can't drive this on the highway with the with the retractable steps on the side of the on the side of the coach. We can't leave with the steps hanging out. And I said, oh yeah, we can't. So he came, that was $500, okay? And I think that that helped our decision. I mean, we never even unpacked. And then I kept smelling a funny smell in there. And I said, John, we've cleaned the gray water tanks. We've cleaned everything. What is this smell? And we, I told him it just smelled like mildew. And uh, we were guaranteed when we bought it that there were no leaks in the motor home. It was a guarantee. So we decided to fix everything and then we'll just go from there. Um, we'll see if they're a churn or, or what they've got on that. But um, the water heater at one time had leaked. They fixed it, but they didn't fix the water issue when it leaked. And it could have just been that they let it sit through winter. That's a common problem and something, a pipe froze or something. Um, I don't know, but it wasn't foreseen. So. All the furniture slip covers that I made for the sofa and the club chair, all that money I spent and all that time sewing them and making them look really pretty, and I'll put a picture of that here. Okay, we're back again. Um, that was pretty. I was going to do everything in red, and that all changed. No. We ended up having to get a new sofa. Well, 
the sofa didn't fit in the 23 and a half inch wide door. So I cut the sofa in half. Cutting the sofa in half and how to get a regular sofa put together and all the mechanisms on it and make that work inside your RV. I didn't find anybody else that had done this. So, you know, I manufacture furniture, so it didn't scare me at all to do it. And since I'm a seamstress as well, I just went through and I hand sewed the whole front of the love seat back together. You can't even tell that we cut it apart. In fact, it's better made than it was before. We put in a lot of screws, a lot of metal plating, and it has a lot of steel uh, reinforced bars in it. It's got the seat belts coming through it. It's reinforced down to the chassis of the motorhome. And we did the same thing to the club chair. And you so now everything is completely refurbished from the new hickory floor throughout the whole thing to the new furniture that's been uh, re-mechanicalized, re I guess it would be the word you would say, uh, with all the mechanisms in it in order to uh, make it, to retrofit it into the RV, into the motorhome. Well, what we didn't know was when we went to go get the license plates uh, on it, that the RV gets inspected by the local police department. Whew. Thank God we put everything back the way it was before. Thank goodness we kept the metal mechanisms and everything off the original sofas. And thank God I was a furniture maker and I knew how to how to do it. Um, and my husband was a big help as well. He did most of the club chair. Although I ran a little while. I mean, we even had the thing that slides the club chair forward and back on the side. And we even had the lever right here, the wires run right to the bottom that, that swivel it, you know, run it forward and back and you can move the chair around. We kept all of that. So our coach, it just has uh, updated furniture it looks really good and I'm getting ready to put I tiled the shower we put in a new uh, big bronze pull down kitchen sprayer faucet with the single handle and a soap pump pump thing so I don't have to get underneath there to store soap it's one less thing that I have to store now really because it's now in the pump next to the refrigerator I just go in there now and wash my hands it's so much easier um, I got my old sewing machine in there so whenever I go anywhere I can just sew on the road and do what I want to make. I'm in the process of, of um, making the curtains. John's gone now to go get me more material. I ran out of material after the curtains. Um, but anyway, so that's where we're at. I've had a lot going on plus I've been maintaining the five acres uh, around us here so this will look good when the company comes in. So, but this, the good news is we got everything bleached, everything passed, inspection, and uh, we got it all done, and it does, it no longer smells. It no longer smells like mold mildew or like somebody didn't take a bath often, okay? It's that kind of a smell. It just wasn't our family smell. And I didn't find any pet hair, so there was no pet hair or anything like that in there. It wasn't from pets, like cats or things. Um, there were some tears in the cushions just from, from wear and tear on it. Um, the RV only had 50,000 miles on it, so um, the engine we had checked out, they said it's in mint condition, the tires were all new. Um, I don't know, we just, uh, uh, the stove had never been used, the convection microwave and the oven had never been used. Uh, they obviously ate out all the time, they didn't cook, or they must have used their outdoor grill because the stove had maybe been used maybe just a handful of times. Um, and so I got everything in there scrubbed from top to bottom, from the leather and slid ceiling all the way down to the floor. We put in, even put in a new subfloor uh, before we laid the hickory floor. Completely redone. Um, that was very interesting how we did that. But it looks really good, and I'm not worried about water coming in, the screen door, and the rent. Anyway, <laughs> but anyway, so that's where we're at. I apologize to Wendy at YKS, my sponsors. This was not foreseen. Like I said, we were packed four weeks ago to leave on a trip. That didn't happen. This has been a month in the making, and I have worked every day. Even in the severe weather and storms, I was in there laying the floor and working. I had to find a way to make it work. If I couldn't lay the floor or use the saws, then I worked on something else. You know, God has plans for us. He has plans for me. And I'm just not going to fear sickness or death because um, every day I pray that Jesus comes and visits me. Um, I want to see my grandchildren grow up. I want to see my children grow up. But God has a plan. And if that plan comes to fulfillment and it takes me before I'm ready, to, I mean, I guess I can't say I'm not ready to go, then it happens. I just 
you know, I don't want to say, Jesus, you're my brother, I love you, but I don't want you to come until after this wedding. I don't want you to come until after I get my house clean, okay? Because I don't want all these funeral people in here. You know, it doesn't work that way. Jesus wants us. He wants us to want him to come visit us like a brother. Jesus Christ is my brother, and, and, and I praise his holy name. And if he wants to come and visit me anytime, whether he just visits me, and he does visit me. The other day he visited me. So I know that Jesus Christ is real. I know it's not in my head. And, and I know that he tells me things, and they do come to pass. Things come to pass with Christ. In, in, in God's time, they come to pass. It's on his time. And what is time but a thousand years to God is a day, and a day a thousand years. So whatever that is, we just must be patient. We must be patient. It will happen. And God is moving mountains for us, and he's doing good things. And we're about ready to take our show on the road. And again, I want to thank YKS and Wendy at YKS. She's been excellent to work with, and I'm so happy to have a sponsor, and it's, it suits me because you know we're very outdoorsy people and I just can't wait to uh, to get camping and get on the road and, uh, and start the show so I want to thank them for being very patient with me as a sponsoree and um, and so uh, now I'm going to be doing some re reviews on products while we're doing it and this will help people a lot of see a lot of people were asking me all the time what should I buy for my bug out bag you know what should I put in my hiking bag what should I put in my get home bag in my car there's so many videos on it well, as a woman, I can tell you that my bag is different than the next woman's bag. We all got our different things. And if you have a man tell you the eyeliner is not important, then he's a man. Go away. I'm telling you the eyeliner, if it's important to you and makes you feel comforted, then it's important to you. And if a certain food or a certain brand of chewing gum or um, a certain toothbrush or a brand of toothpaste, if that's important to you, it's important. And that's, those are the things in the list of things that you should be making, that you should put in your, your bag. You want to be comforted. When the going gets tough, the tough get going, yeah. But the tough can also get going with a few little comforts from home. And we're going to discuss that in our next video. Comforts from home on the road. All right? And I'm going to teach you how to revamp an older RV. I mean, I think this was God-given. I think God has a reason for everything, don't you? And I just feel like all this hard work that we did, the hurt back, the harm, the summer, all the work that we did was for you to teach you all how to buy an RV at a really good deal and how to fix it up. And we fixed our RV up for just a couple thousand dollars plus what we paid for the RV. And you can, you know, find them. I mean, people have them for sale everywhere. And uh, you can get a good deal. We got ours at Paul Sherry RV in Ohio, and it was an it was an over the phone purchase. It really was. I didn't even see it. I bought it sight unseen. Um, my husband went and picked it up, and uh, sure there was a few things, but um, but how were they to know that the motor was going to go out on the steps? It worked the first two weeks we had it. It just happened to go out. It hadn't been used in a while. Somebody just wasn't using the motor home, and things go out. Fine. Um, my husband not only is uh, in the medical field, but he also is an electrician and a plumber. He's very intelligent. He's went to school. I, to, I call him the professional student. So he's also my electrician and plumber. So he did all the rewiring, put in the new TV, flat screens. Um, I'm completely Wi-Fi capable in there. So I'll be able to make my videos and upload my videos in from the RV no matter where in the country that we are. All right, so my videos will start going back up. So I know this is rather long. Um, like I said, I hadn't seen I hadn't seen or heard from a lot of you. Uh, I just want to tell all of you, all my fans out there, um, I miss you. I miss your chats. Please write me. Please leave messages below. Let me know how you're doing this summer. Let me know how your garden's doing. Let me know what things that Christ has done for you this summer uh, that's uh, been a blessing in your life. If you want to be put on our prayer circle list. We're going to have an on-the-road prayer circle list. And I'm buying Bibles, and we're going all over the world, and we're bringing Christ to 2.8 million people.
and you're supplying the money for it. So thank you for their Bibles. Yeah. And to all the people and all my fans and everybody, I love you. I love I love you if you don't love me. I love you. I wish you peace, hope, happiness, and love in Christ. And we want to thank you for helping us purchase Bibles around the world and sharing the word of Christ around the world. And again, we're going to have that contest on Name Our Travel Show. Okay. And again, we want to thank YKS. We want to thank Wendy as our sponsor. And we think uh, we can't wait to get on the road. And we're going to show everybody our first item will be the D Power Stove. And we can't wait to get on the road and to show that. And doing some hiking and some camping out, we're pretty excited. So, um, and by the way, you can find the canisters for the D Power Stove on Amazon or at Walmart. Your local Walmart will carry them. They're like a little gray canister, and we will show that to you in a separate video, okay? So, thank YKS. Be sure and check them out. We'll put the link down here below. And we uh, be sure and leave them a note. Go over and check them out. Let them know that you're thankful that I'm being sponsored now and that I can stay on the air for even more people on the air because that's sharing camping and sharing Christ. And, um, and, uh, and that's a good thing. So if you want to sponsor us, we are open for sponsoring. We are coming up with a P.O. box. So for all of you guys that were wanting to send us things and pictures of our Huskies and your kids coloring pictures, you're going to be able to send all that now because we are going to get a P.O. box. So when we're gone, we'll be able to pick up our mail. All right? So this is Dr. Janie Pendleton with my husband, Dr. John Pendleton. We love you and God bless you.